Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Rosie from Mary Rosie Dips. If this is your first time visiting me, thank you so much for coming. If it is uh, you just coming on back to check out some videos, thanks again for supporting me. Today in this mani, I am doing a, a first impression basically of Uvia Beauty products. Uh, my last video that I posted, I unboxed and swatched them, and I thought they were pretty good quality dip powders, um, and actually have super gorgeous pigment and colors. So I definitely do recommend them, and I uh, did recommend that on my video uh, that I posted a couple of days ago. So for this Manny, I'll be doing um, this glittery purple color, and then this solid shimmery uh, different shade of blurple purple color and then I will be using some pampered pretties water slide decals over uh, ritzy dips sweet cream uh, which is a neutral creamy color and then I'll be encapsulating in ritzy dips glass which is their clear uh, so here you'll just watch me I'm doing the um, glitter first um, on my pointer and thumb and then I'm gonna be moving on to the blurple color there and I'm just gonna put it on my pinky um, and I'll just let you watch As you can see, these powders are very easy to work with. They came in a kit. Um, I'll actually, right here, I am taking off a little piece of glitter that had already dried that I could not just kind of flick off. Um, they come in a kit of six powders. Like it's like their starter kit. It's six powders, different colors, um, with a nail file, a little pumice stone. A cuticle pusher cleaner tool uh, a brush and then a four-step liquid process I used the liquids the base on the activator to do my swatches in my last video but I thought the smell was a little bit strong for me but I'm very sensitive on smells um, because I get really bad migraines so I chose not to use them for a manicure uh, partially because of that and partially because I typically will use double dip which you see me using here um, for my manicures I know the smell I know the consistency um, I know what I need to do each and every time so I just rather continue that um, either way you see me here doing two nails of sweet cream from ritzy dips and I'm cleaning up my edges and uh, removing excess dip powder that's hanging around um, so I'll do two coats of the sweet cream and I could have easily done just one coat, but I wanted it to be a little bit more, um, opaque, I guess you would say for the water slide decals. to immediately activate those two white nails with my double dip activator uh, I just don't want any glitter or pigment from the other colors to get in to the white
Here is my second dip uh, using that blurple color. And since I'm only doing it on one nail, I dip twice, or this is the second one anyway. And then I just close it up because I won't be using that color right now. Um, and then this uh, purple burgundy glittery color, I'm just gonna be doing my second layer on my index finger and second layer on my um, thumb. This uh, burgundy color is not necessarily a chunky glitter, but it does have bigger glitter pieces. A couple of them wanted to poke out, um, but that's why you see me pressing down on the sides and pressing down on the top. I just want to make sure that those are laying flat uh, because I am going to be encapsulating it clear. Um, and this is Glass by Ritzy Dips. The Uvia Beauty kits did not come with a clear, but I definitely recommend that you encapsulate any glitter and honestly any color um, in a clear dip powder to protect the color, the pigment, and most definitely to protect the glitters. Um, once you start buffing, you can easily buff too much and uh, remove any of the glitters and partially buff them which means then they turn silver and if that's not the original color then you'll have to kind of start all over and you see me dipping my nail in here kind of at an angle it's for two different reasons one um my jar is running low and two this jar that I have is actually for glitters um, because it's got little pieces of glitter. It's already contaminated um, and I was trying not to get into those. Um, the smaller little green cap jar that I just pulled out is actually um, my Secret Sisters glitter, except, uh, excuse me, glitter clear, except I didn't want that one. Um, I went right into my bigger jar of Secret Sisters clear that is not contaminated. Um, I also have a Ritzy Dips clear that is not contaminated. You definitely want to have a clear dip powder jar for solid colors and one for dips. And if you can manage it, one for darker color clear. Um, just because it is easily to con it is very easy to contaminate your clear dips. Either way, here's the Manny. After filing and buffing, I did remove that off camera. Um, I walked away multiple times and had other things to do, so I kind of just did it as I went along. And here I'm putting my final activator on this manicure. And then I will kind of just scrub off the excess a little bit, make sure there's none on my cuticles. Uh, but I will be doing um, gel top coat on this mani, uh, partially because of the water slide decals, um, and then partially just because I wanted to. Um, these water slide decals, as you can see, are amazing. They are from Pampered Pretties, and this sheet here is still available. Um, it's got beautiful purples, green, uh, blues, burgundies. It's kind of perfect. So I'll be doing a partial one on one finger and a full water slide decal on another. And I'm going to show you the rest of this video is going to be showing how I place my water slide decals.
So with water slide decals, you have to just cut them out in pieces um, and then kind of cut around the shape of the water slide decal. Um, that's gonna be the easiest application process is really to cut around the shape that they come in um, for placement. of some sort for the water um, and then what I like to do is I place my water slide decals in there to kind of start getting wet and separating while I do the top coat on these other nails um, and then I will put um, maniology sticky base on the ones that are getting the decal um, for this mani I chose to do I gel beauty gel top coat uh, which is what you see me doing here um, I will do it on the pinky index finger and thumb and then I cured for 30 seconds in my gel lamp um, here I am doing maniology sticky base and once I started using this um, the water slide decal thing was a breeze this and a jelly stamper made the biggest difference for me on uh, water slide decal application um, so what I do is I get it wet let it separate um, and while all that's happening I uh, apply the sticky base to my nail and then I remove the water slide from the backing kind of pat it dry here on the jelly stamper because it's a jelly stamper it's clear and you can see exactly where you're placing it and then you want to go in apply even pressure to the entire nail and just roll it back and forth a couple of times and then I just pat down with my finger lightly. Um, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm doing the same for the other one. So I decided to place both of them to see how this would work for me. Sometimes I'll go and clean one up and then go back and place the other one. But I chose to do it this way to see how it works for me. It pretty much worked the same way. So sticky base on the entire nail. And then I'm gonna pick up that water slide with some little tweezers or whatever kind of tool you got. Um, then I am placing that on my jelly stamper, dabbing off excess water with a napkin, and placing it on the nail exactly where I want it, even pressure a couple times back and forth, and boom, look gorgeous already. The little black cap that I have right here is acetone that I poured in there, that's the cap for my acetone. I take a small little brush and I get it wet, kind of dab off any excess, and then I'm going around the water slide decal. The minute you touch the water slide with acetone, it's going to melt away. So the excess on the sides and on the end here are literally just melting away and separating with the acetone when they're touched. So that's the easiest way that I've found to clean up water slide decals. I think for me personally, I did alcohol at one point and it didn't, it didn't work for whatever reason, but I also had a very hard time with water slide decals in the past. Honestly, don't ever remember what I was doing wrong, but once I find my niche, I continue to go with it and I follow the same steps every single time. And that's how my decals come out so pretty. Um, right here, I'm cleaning up the second one. Just kind of go around, try not to have too much on it. If you get too much, you can try to dab it off with a towel but try not to touch the actual decal, just the edges of the nail to clean it up. Once I'm done cleaning up with the acetone, I am going right in with a gel beauty gel top coat 
just right over the water slide decal. I'm trying not to brush too hard to make sure it doesn't brush off. If you want a lasting Manny though, I would recommend that you do gel base over that um, and then cap your edges in gel top coat and cap your edges. I clearly don't want a lasting Manny. I don't ever cap my edges and I typically don't do gel base and then gel top coat unless I'm gonna be buffing over it. Um, this is just what I do, but the proper way to do it to get it to last is to do gel base first and then gel top coat and capping your edges. If not, your gel top coat would actually get um, start peeling. And this is the final beauty. I think they came out pretty amazing. So all in all, I do recommend these UV Beauty products. Um, and of course, Pampered Pretty water slide decals. And here I am applying Candy Skincare Mary Cherry Cheesecake Cuticle Oil, which is my favorite scent in the world. I apply it, scrub it on into the nails, and that makes an entire gorgeous mani. Here's the final product. I'll be sliding on a picture here in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And thank you, Yuvia Beauty, for sending over this product. Bye, guys.